Can you say what's larb? Come on, make it like kind of fun. Larb. What's larb? Thai lettuce wraps. Mm, let's make some. Okay, I'm gonna start by toasting up some sweet rice. Now this is totally optional, you don't have to do this, but I definitely think with the addition of the toasted rice, it adds nuttiness, depth, and a nice crunch. Here I have like a tablespoon and a half, two tablespoons of sweet rice. It's also called glutinous rice. And I'm just gonna toast it up until it's nice and golden brown. And I like to do this on like medium high heat just so it doesn't burn and scorch. But this really takes only like five minutes to do. So Thai lettuce wraps are really light and refreshing and it's perfect for a summer weeknight meal. And it comes together very quickly. I know it's not like a normal thing to eat toasted rice raw like this, but if you don't want to use this, you can always substitute for like toasted crunched up almonds or cashews, that would be really good. So I was really inspired by this dish actually by watching Triple D, Guy Fieri on Food Network. He visited this place in Hawaii called Opal Thai in Haleiwa. And this year we were supposed to go to Hawaii, but then like so many things happened. And also I didn't feel like traveling with an infant and a toddler. Can you imagine six hour flight with those two, ooh, it's getting nice and steamy. Just keep it moving, otherwise it can scorch pretty quickly. But anyways, watching that made me really, really crave that dish that he made, um, larb, or actually call it lob. It's starting to turn. It's kind of popping too. If you guys remember, um, I actually made something like this in a really old episode. I tried Chrissy Teigen's garlic fried ribs. It was delicious. So you guys should check out that video. It was very yummy. And we also toasted rice too. So if you're wondering what else you can use toasted rice for, try it in that, it's in the dipping sauce. Okay, I'm gonna transfer it back into my ramekin just to let it cool down. And then we'll revisit this later. All right, so we're gonna let it cool down and revisit it later when we mix everything up. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and cook up my meat. And it's really simple. Um, there's not too many ingredients. I'm not gonna flavor it as much just because we're gonna be dressing it up later. For this dish, typically ground pork is used, but I just felt like ground pork was a little too fatty and I usually like subbing ground pork for ground turkey. You can always use ground chicken too if you'd like. I have a pound here. Heat up the stove stove to medium high, drizzle it with a little bit of oil, and we still have the toasted rice like sediments in here, which is great because it'll actually help with adding extra flavor. Let it get nice and hot, and we're gonna add in three cloves of garlic. If you have shallots, that would be really yummy too. The pan is still super hot from the rice. Now we'll add our turkey. Woo! I'll just season it with a tiny bit of salt and pepper. Break it up. So having a toddler, I feel like ground meat is like her favorite. So we buy ground meat more than ever these days. I mean, before I used to buy it to make meatballs. I don't know what else, bolognese. But now I have to find ways to use ground meat because it seems to be like the only kind that she likes. Kid is so picky. <laughs> okay, now I can turn my heat back up. If you notice, it's getting a little watery and that's totally fine too. It just adds to the whole dish later. Oh, and if you're wondering for the meat, I always use ground turkey thigh. I feel like turkey breast is always too dry. So is chicken. So you want a little bit of fat in there, but not as much fat as like ground pork. And that's pretty much it for our meat for now. We're gonna set it aside and let it cool while we prep the rest of our ingredients. So here at the Honeysuckle Farms, my herbs are quite thriving and I'm super excited because I have enough herbs and the correct herbs to make this dish. So I'm gonna get a little bit of Thai basil. Mmm, smells like pho. <laughs> some mint, like just a handful, and then some green onions. I'm never really sure where to cut, like should it be down here, but it seems to grow, so I just cut off the leaves. So if you guys have the correct way or know the correct way to cut, green onions, please, please let me know. I love the green onions because I haven't actually had to buy any. Just snip a little bit because I only use a little bit at a time anyways. And that's about it. 
It's all we need. All right, so the reason why I love this dish is because it's so fresh. There's so many veggies in here and I just feel really healthy eating it. I have my platter ready. We have some iceberg lettuce leaves. I usually like doing butter lettuce just because it holds it like a cup, but I couldn't find any at the store, so iceberg it is. Purple cabbage, because it adds like a nice pop of color. We're gonna prep our veggies and set it on the side for now. I'm just gonna use maybe quarter of a cup, half a cup, half a cup. And usually the mandolin will do the job, which I usually like doing, but for the sake of filming, let's cut everything by hand. We're gonna set it over here. We're gonna set it over here. I love colorful foods. Okay, and then I have a carrot, and just like opal, I'm gonna use my spiralizer. So this is a spiralizer. I got it from Target. You can find it on Amazon too. Oh, this way. <laughs> We used to make, um, what do you call it? Zo zoodles. <laughs> Ooh, see, you want like long strands like this. And how did I get that? Was it from this? <sighs> oh, there you go. Yes, I did it. Okay, so I feel like it's easier to hold it like this, like a pencil sharpener, so it doesn't fall down. Now I wish I did it from the beginning, but that's okay. We'll still get really nice strands. Have you guys ever been to Opal Thai? Let me know in the comments section below. Please be a long strand. Oh, it's a long strand. Curly hair. <laughs> or an earring. <laughs> Make it look all pretty. And now for the mix-ins for the actual meat. So earlier we went to Honeysuckle Farms and I got some green onions. I'm just gonna chop it up into little small pieces. So you probably need, I would say, a quarter of a cup. And then for the Thai basil, I only used a little bit just because the flavor, the flavor is pretty strong. I don't want it to overpower power the rest of the dish just because it needs to blend really well with like the mint. Same with the mint, I don't want the flavors to overpower there either. So I'm gonna use a tablespoon or two. And finally some cilantro for our herbs. Yeah, so I'm using about one to two tablespoons of each. Green onion seems to be a lot more here, but it's not, it's a mild herb, so there's not as much. And then finally, we're gonna chop up a purple onion, just little slices. I was telling Nate the other day, Thai food is one of those uh, cuisines that I really, really enjoy eating, but I never think to order it. Like when we're post-mating dinner, it always, automatically defaults to either Korean pizza or sometimes Vietnamese, not all the time, but I never think to order Thai. And I don't know why, it's so good and I'm so happy every time we get it, especially like Pad Si U, it's my favorite. Gotta change that. I don't like huge chunks of purple onion, so I would say that was like a quarter of an onion. So our rice earlier. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon and we're gonna crush it into a powder. And like I said, this adds a nice crunch and it's gonna be varying um, sizes when you crush it like this, but it has a lot of depth and nuttiness. Speaking of crush, be sure to crush the like button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when our video comes out. It's a workout. All right, so as you can see, I ground it into a powder, but there's still like some coarse pieces and it smells really good, it's very toasty. Now we're ready to mix our lop. So the reason why I set the turkey aside is for it to cool down a little bit. If it was super hot, it would cook all of the herbs and you really want the flavors of the herbs to shine through. You wanna serve it warm anyways. Now for the sauce, I'm gonna add half a lime. I like it tangy and then you want half a tablespoon of fish sauce, so two teaspoons. I actually have this coconut sugar, coconut brown sugar, which has a very light sugary taste. You're supposed to use like palm sugar for this, which I don't know if this is the same thing. Two teaspoons. If you can't find the coconut sugar, definitely substitute for good old dark brown sugar, it's just as good. And then just a tiny bit of salt. Sometimes when you add too much fish sauce, it just doesn't taste right. One teaspoon of the rice powder. If you really like the flavor of the rice powder, you can always add a little bit more. I seem to like it 
just with one teaspoon. And then give it a good mix. Mix, mix, mix. This is where I like to taste it and see if it has enough flavor. Mm. Oh yeah, it's tangy, it's balanced, it's nice and salty, not too salty. It's perfect. But now we're gonna add our onions. I wish I got a bigger bowl. This always happens. Okay, and then all of our other herbs. Green onions, mint, Thai basil, cilantro. Just mix it up. Obviously we have a whole bowl. You can serve it on a big platter, but I don't have enough space. And plus, I don't think I wanna eat a whole pound of turkey. So I'm just gonna transfer it over. This is a great family style meal. A uh, meal to share or also meal prep. You can make this ahead of time and have your veggies already prepared and this will make like the best lunch. All right, so I have everything on a platter all nicely laid out, but I'm not done yet. We're gonna continue dressing it. I'm gonna add one more teaspoon of the powder right on top. One more teaspoon of the fish sauce because now it's like our dressing. A squeeze of lime. You still want it to have like a good amount of juice after. Like the first time was just to flavor it and now is to dress it. Finally, we're gonna mix everything up. So I like mixing the carrots and the purple cabbage in there. Make it super colorful. I don't know if you guys remember and I don't know if it's just like a Bay Area restaurant, but do you guys remember Elephant Bar? But they're not there anymore and I used to get their lettuce wraps, which was so good. This reminds me of that. So to eat it, I have half of a lettuce cup and then you just spoon it right in. Get some meat in there. That looks about good for me. And then I wrap it up. Mmm, mmm, mm. There's a lot to chew because it's so crunchy. You get that like freshness from the mint, the cilantro, the herbs. It's just so delicately balanced and flavor it. And then you get that tang from the lime and the fish sauce. It's so yummy. If you guys are into spring rolls, um, this is so much easier without all that effort of like rolling. And I just love this during summertime. It's so good. If you guys end up trying it, let me know what you think by commenting in the section below. Give my video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next cook with me. Let me know what else you want to see. Mm. Even the purple onion's really good.